Good day, Turbo fans and retro game enthusiasts. Welcome to another episode of Turbo Tuesday. Boss Kara and his evil army have invaded the Kung Fu province of China and pillaged the ancient city. You are the China warrior and must defeat the evil horde and return peace to Kung Fu province. China Warrior is a side-scrolling beat-em-up that was released in 1989 in North America for TurboGrafx console. This game gets a lot of dislikes, but it is truly a hidden gem for the system. Some of this criticism may be attributed to the fact that the Genesis was released earlier in 1989, while China Warrior boasted impressive half-screen high sprites, it was no match for Altered Beast an impressive arcade conversion for the newly released Genesis. Some may argue that China Warrior is an excellent technical showcase for the TurboGrafx console, boasting sprites that fill half the screen and no flicker or slowdown demonstrate the console's ability. Vibrant scrolling backgrounds demonstrate the, the, the then sizable color palette of the system. There are also small details that shouldn't go unnoticed such as the visual change to your character as you take damage. Blood appears on the character's face and body as they lose power. Small action bubbles also appear as certain obstacles or power-ups are hit. The game does suffer from a repetition of sprites and backgrounds. The controls are very simple. Punch, kick, and jump. Focus on those moves and let your character move with the auto-scrolling of the game. This makes it a little bit easier. Timing also plays an important role, as you can easily defeat the game with the proper timing. There are four levels to the game, and each contain three stages. At the end of the, each stage, you face off against a boss in a battle. China Warrior is an inexpensive starter game that is good addition to anyone's collection. Stay tuned and watch some gameplay. Thank you for watching, and please stay tuned for the next episode of Turbo Tuesday. Follow us on Twitter for the latest updates.